Oh, hi there, and uh, welcome to the show. Car Talk with Ash. That's me, yeah. <laughs> Today we are discussing the disaster that is the new BMW 2 Series, the second gen of the 2 Series. So grab a cup of coffee or tea or beer or anything that you like and, and join us. Cherry? The second gen 2 Series is coming out in the beginning, that is next year, 2022, um, somewhere in the first quarter I'm guessing with two engines which is first the the, the obvious two liter four cylinder turbocharged uh, petrol and a much more powerful six cylinder the straight six and the straight six is going to put out somewhere on the lines of 380 plus horses and the 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 four cylinder is going to make about 255 which is Great in terms of numbers, but have you seen the thing? There's gonna be two versions of it. One's gonna be the 230i, and the second one is gonna be called the M240i X-Drive, which is sadly gonna be only available with four-wheel drive, uh, but the first one is gonna have rear-wheel drive, which is good. But then, have you seen it? These two models, will start at somewhere between 40 to 45,000 and uh, euros, euros and go on uh, to about 55 is what I'm guessing and uh, later on when the M2 comes it's gonna be way more expensive. Is it time for BMW to fire its design team? I sure think so, I sure do. And I'm sure you will too, after you see what they've done to the poor 2 Series. That rear end. Now coming to the interior of the car, I quite like it. From sitting inside it, you, you'd be cocooned from uh, the disaster that is outside. And, uh, well, it looks pretty good from the inside, uh, as does every other BMW. And it's nothing special anymore. Um, it's got the, the new 3 Series uh, G30 uh, steering wheel and the seats and uh, the center console and everything from the 3 Series. And uh, yeah, that's, that's where the good stuff ends. Now let's face the big issue, the design. What do I think of it? I think, to put it in words, it would be I think the new design, the whole design language of BMW is something like the human evolution, but backwards. They went from something really good to something really not. Why BMW, why? True story. I woke up in the morning and I opened my Instagram and I saw BMW's new post. Here's the new 2 Series and uh, what do you think of it? Things like that. Actually, they, they didn't ask. They, they didn't want to. They didn't dare. But, but I was reading through the comments and I did not see one fact. One comment that, was, that said anything even slightly nice about the new design. Not one. Exactly. Not one comment. Not one that had anything nice to say about the new design. But is it an entire disaster? Have you seen that rear end? Now, I'm sure the car is gonna be lovely to drive, as is the case with every other BMW. They are amazing to drive. They are machines that go. They are beautiful. But this, every time you get out of the car, you gotta look at it. And that, that could cause cancer to your eyes. But I do like the color, I must say. The new purple color that they've launched the M240i X-Drive in. And uh, that's as much as I like of it. The previous car, the 2 Series, was um, a coupe um, and a cabrio. And, well, the M2. 
but this time they've not launched any cabrios and we have no news on whether they they are gonna launch one or not and uh, from the way things look they're most probably not and the new two series something i've noticed is that the fenders uh, both the rear and the front the front especially look wider like um, the previous e30 m3 and um, i really like that i do but it seems that the designers have taken all the hate they got from the m4 and the m3 uh, regarding their big huge beaver teeth uh, or pig nose grills and um, they put really small grills in there but just to prove that the, the grills aren't exactly the problem they've ruined the entire other parts of the car from the lights to the to the bumpers to the diffusers to everything i i think it's it's appalling bmw really i think that our friends the barbarians the barbarians hate us yeah that's why they're doing this to us to torture us for giving them hate about the m4 and the m3 what else could it be it's time to address the elephant in the room, which is the M2. The new generation M2 is expected after the launch of the M240i. And um, as we saw the last time with the M2 and uh, then the M2 competition and then the M2CS, it's gonna, it's gonna take its own sweet time. But is it something you wanna wait for? Is it something you want to look forward to? If you ask me, after seeing those disturbing images, which I could not sleep at night after, I don't think waiting for the new M2 is the right answer. If you have money, get the current M2 and uh, sell it for five times the price in the future. That's what's gonna happen when they launch the new M2 based on this design. What's gonna happen? I think the fanboys are now starting to realize that it's it's actually gone too far and uh, BMW needs to be stopped before they, they do more harm. And um, I think we are at a point where things can't get any worse. Uh, God, what's gonna happen to the M2? I think it's gonna be another disaster which none of us should be waiting for. Picture this car with wider fenders and arches and uh, an even more terrible looking uh, diffuser in the back. Worse stay light or maybe even the same, which I come in and think of it is pretty bad. Uh, I don't think it can get any worse than that. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's the fate of the new M2. So final verdict on the new generation 2 series. Let's see. I think BMW had a chat uh, with uh, Toyota after helping them with the new Supra. I think they took some parts from uh, Toyota's and Subaru's 86 GT, uh, Toyota GT or whatever it's called now, and uh, put it on the new design of the BMW uh, 2 Series and they said, yeah, this is what you get for making us work on a Monday morning. But in the end, I, all I want to ask you is, Cherry, don't forget, like, share, subscribe, follow, do all the other bits. Follow me on Instagram, don't forget. And uh, I will see you next time. Again, guys, if you enjoyed the series, let me know in the comments below what you would like to watch next. And I will do that for you. Bye, take care. All these cherries. Oh. Thank you.